Hi everyone, so we have this question under binomial expansion which reads if n combined 3 is also 56, show that n power 3 minus 3n squared plus 2n minus uh, 336 is equal to 0. Okay, so the first thing we have to remember is a combination, for example, n combined r is found by n factorial divided by n minus r factorial r factorial so that's the formula for a combination so in our question in this case the value of n is still n but the value of r is 3 so let's do the substitution so where this n we just maintain it factorial so this will be n minus 3 factorial then 3 factorial now remember, all this is equals to 56. So for the factorial, uh, we have to break it down. n factorial is as good as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, just like that. So where there's n factorial, we'll write it as n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 factorial. So in the 3, simply because here we have n minus 3 factorial, so we want them to cancel out. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. Remember, all this is equals to 56. If that's the case, you can clearly see that this and this will just cancel out. Let's expand the numerator. So n times n will give us n squared. n times 1 is n. Then we have n minus 2. This is a 6. It multiplies with that. We'll get 336. Let's continue expanding here. So n squared times n will give us n to the power 3. n squared times 2 will give us 2n squared. n times n is uh, n squared. n times 2, negative, negative. So it will become positive. 2n minus 336 or this is equals to 0 so just push this guy to the other side this means that n to the power 3 minus these two which are which will give us a 3n squared plus 2n minus 336 or this is equals to 0 so Hence shown, because we were, we were just told to show for the first part. To find the value of n, uh, we're supposed to use the best method you can use since it's a polynomial is trial and error. Now, our trial and error must be strategic. So we need to look for a value such that when we replace n with that particular value to give us a zero. So, in other words, let's rewrite this as n power 3 minus 3n squared plus 2n, or this is equal to 336. So, we're looking for a value such that when we replace it here, it should give us 336. So, by trial and error, we're supposed to start with uh, plus minus 1. Then we'll move on to plus minus 2, plus minus 3, just like that. But uh, logically speaking, put a 1 here. We know that we can get this value. We put a 2, because these are small values. And moreover, if we put a 2 here, we get 8. If we put a 2 here, we'll get um, 12. Again, they will, multiply, they will subtract. So it's too small. So let's start with bigger numbers. Maybe let's start from um, 5. Let's try 5. So if we try 5, we can simply say... Uh, 5 to the power 3 is 125 minus 75. We get 50. So 50 plus 10 again is not working. Uh, so let's try a number, a bigger number. So 6, 6 to the power 3 minus uh, 72 plus 12. 6 is not working. Let's try 7. 7 to the power 3 minus. Uh, 98 plus 14 
7 is not working. Let's try 8. So if I replace n with 8, I'll get 8 to the power 3 minus uh, 3 times 64 plus 16. So 8 is working. If we replace n with 8, we're getting this value, meaning that n is equals to 8. So this is our first solution. To find the other three solutions, because remember the degree of the polynomial is a 3, we will go into a synthetic division where we'll say, let's pick it up from here, the coefficients are 1, oh, let's write it properly, synthetic division, coefficients, we have 1, here we have minus 3, here we have a 2, here we have negative 3, 3, 6. Remember, we have 8 that we already found as the first factor. If we drop the 1 here, 1 times 8 is 8, we add these two, we get a 5. 5 times 8 should be 40. We add these two, we'll get 42. Then 8 times 42, what do we get? 336. So this is 336. We add here, we'll get 0. So the quadratic equation that will form is x squared plus 5x, not x, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's n squared plus 5n <coughs> plus 42, or this is equals to, to 0. Now, from this quadratic equation, we're supposed to solve for n. Then uh, we proceed from there. But um, it will give you a complex root, or rather it will give you a complex number. Hence, the only solution for n is 8. Or you can present your answer as n is equals to 8, or rather, let's say, um, yes, okay, n is equals to 8. The other one is the quadratic, n squared plus 5n plus 42 is equals to 0, of which this one will not be applicable since it is going into complex numbers. So the only solution in this case is just 8. So there we have it. I hope it makes sense. Thank you very much.